Welcome to morning prayer on Monday morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 71 in you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I learned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him, pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me, come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me, Therefore will I praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with a lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, starting at verse 11. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's portico, utterly astonished. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people. You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one and asked to have a murderer given to you and you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses and by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of you all. Here ends the reading. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. And so we pray. Father God, we pray today for the tasks that are ahead of us. We give to you the things that are exciting about the day ahead and the week ahead. And we give to you the things that are giving us concern or causing us pain. Almighty God, we pray today for the media and the arts. We pray for our local theatres. We pray for our local museums. Lord, we pray for social media pages with which we engage. Father God, we pray for our farming and fishing industries. And we pray for those industries and businesses that work locally in our area. And Father, we pray for those people whose work is unfulfilling, stressful or dangerous. And Lord, we pray today for those who are unemployed and struggling financially. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, that they may obtain their petitions. Make them to ask such things as shall please you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.